to another episode of Paranormal Road. We are headed to Fort Chaffee, which has uh, been very limited in uh, the number of teams that have actually uh, investigated there. It's hard to get into. Um, our case manager, Kathy Nance, did a fantastic job of, um, of getting us in there and finding out who we were supposed to talk to and arranging it all. Awesome. Ghost Adventures have been there. Um, Sorry we got started a little bit late with this, but we were trying to get out before the storm in uh, Oklahoma City hit. So, uh, yeah, we're on the road. I'm with Ariel right now. We're meeting um, Kathy, Logan, uh, Taylor, and uh, Audrey are out there at Fort Chaffee right now. We're going to meet up with them. They headed out earlier today. So, looking forward to a fantastic investigation in a historic fort that is quite haunted from what I understand. Say hello, Ariel. Hey. Okay. She decided to bring some old stories that she wrote in seventh grade. Now tell us about this best friend of yours who's, whose last name you don't remember. Um, well, I mean, it's actually a true, true person. She is my best friend, and actually I do know her last name, so... Yep, but in the book, she's your best friend, and... and I don't know her last name at all in the book. Uh, so that, that's a pretty lousy friend right there. Oh, and speaking of books, um, we're oh. just going to do shameless plug here. Uh, she is wearing a Mike Ricksecker Deadly Airs... Original t-shirt. Yes, t-shirt, um, which commemorates my first novel. So. Uh, yeah, shameless plug here, Deadly Airs, <laughs> Mike Ricksecker, get it. This time, it is not me getting pulled over. Except last night, last night we did. It's starting to get a bit darker as we drive down the road. People have their headlights on, their taillights on. We head east toward Arkansas. The rain's gone. And Ariel is furiously writing. Something we're going to read in a little while. We're talking about a cow who has visions. We've stopped here at Love's, and I don't claim to be a spokesperson for Love's, but we have these nice big mugs. Um, got one for uh, my wife, got one for me. Um, usually, if I come here, I get the banana split, which is really good. A couple of them don't have them, but uh, we'll see if this one does. If not, we'll get something else. But coffee is a must-have for road trips, especially paranormal road trips, because you're investigating the paranormal, you can be out late. Banana split right there. I'm not spilling it. Don't want to be wasteful. It's nice and frothy. Go ahead and kill it. We are just entering Arkansas. It's kind of hard to see, but the river's down there somewhere. Fort Smith. And this Jeep just breaking in front of me because of the truck. Here we are, waiting for Kathy to show up. Ariel is trying to find her phone. Sounds like it's It's in... not in my shirt! No, but it could be like under the... Yeah. Found it! And that is them. Away we go. The other side of the tracks, where beyond Fort Chaffee lies. Is that the gate that they left themselves inside of? Now we are on this paved road, but it's narrow. There's some of the old buildings. Oh, I'm getting like chills. Hey. Oh, bright light. <laughs> How's it going? You, you can't see a thing. Yeah, yeah. Should have called me this morning. Yeah, I know. I, I was going to, but thought you might want to. This is the map, huh? That is the map. How's it going, Mark? Hey, pretty good. How you doing? Doing pretty well. 
Yeah. All right. So see the numbers right there correspond uh -huh. to different uh, places, okay. like the uh, you know the clinic, the ER, mm -hmm. the OBG, all the clinic. hot spots. Yep. Yeah. The solitary confinement was in here where they kept the mental crazy mm -hmm. people, but the actual prison prison is back there that said haunted prison. Where they do the where the Cubans house. were. Yeah, the yeah. Cuban prison. Yeah. Right. It's over there. And she's got a, the phone number to that guy if we want to go in there. But right. it's nothing like this area here. Yeah. That place is crazy. EVPs in, in the gynecological area, female EVPs. Um, RVPRI caught help me and then help another year all in the same time. So, um, and it's the same voice that they captured. And then one other is a live bird. Is it a bird or a bat? Where is it? We dive bomb by birds. Aww. He's trying to get out, but he can't seem to find his way. I'm going to go ahead and talk step while they're setting up. What I had looked like was when they were standing in the inside and had like peeked out. It was just like this outline of a head. And just real quick, they just went back in. If this is individual, please in front of What we can do here is we can set them up at an angle down this way and down this way. From the end of the hall toward the middle. several of us here uh, in the hallway with you tonight. Um, if you would, would you please tell me your name or who you are? A friend? like to talk to you. We'd like you to talk back. We have little gadgets that we're carrying with us that can record your voice even if we can't hear you. So if you walk up to somebody that's got a microphone clipped to them, just speak loudly and clearly as loud as you can into the uh, recorders and then let us know your name, who you are, what you want. Some of these rooms have no floor. taking pictures of the Ghost Adventures X. Hope I was making my back, you know, it's pretty cool. So if this was the X, is this the room that he went in and got locked in? Uh, is it? It's one of these. Is there a footmark on the door? Yeah, I really look for a blueprint. Shit out of it. Hey, dude. Uh, maybe. Right here? I have some unfortunate news for you. For one, you're dead. Ask him about food. Uh, okay. Uh, comment, take a step. Uh, ah. Uh, comment. They are here. 
Good morning, everybody. So we have to talk about our experience with the uh, the room this morning, getting up late. <laughs> we woke up two minutes after 11. Checkout was at 11. Yeah. So I thought, oh my, went and turned on a light. I said something to Ariel. And everybody just sort of got up and started running as fast as we could. They feel better. They felt even better. I could use the toothbrush. A whisk. They are warm. Yeah, that. I was telling uh, Ariel this morning that I had to take one of my uh, military showers because when you're in basic training, you have like less than two minutes to take a shower. So it's like, yeah, I took, I took longer to pee than I did actually. <laughs> we need a few more minutes. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Done. We have to. It's hot. And I just downed my last mug of coffee. So. Oh. Uh, then we should have cooled off the water first. Okay, I'll just follow you. Okay. Right now we are headed out of Fort Smith, uh, which four chapters right next to Fort Smith, Arkansas. Uh, we're headed out of Fort Smith right now to um, basically scout out a uh, location that we've scheduled a um, another investigation for later this summer. And like Ghost Adventures. We are now storm chasers. There's the clouds rolling in. We're Fort Chaffee. This is Fort Chaffee. We're walking into the main admissions office here. This is really the only way to get into uh, the installation. We just we park back there uh, amongst the weeds and. Uh, walk in through here. Uh, no, I am not Zach Bagans, but I do play one on YouTube. We're going down to the children's wing because they have uh, clowns and other things in the wall. Okay, cool. Where Good food in here, it's mess off. Now this is a paranormal road. This is a paranormal path you don't usually want to take. Was this a bowling alley? No. Stay on this side. Yeah, it's really rotted right there. Careful. Yeah, those were all those. All this is a massive place, isn't it? How could we possibly do that? We're going to Yes, yeah, Sasquatch is sitting on here. Yeah. No. Sasquatch. At night, when the is that a type of vegetable? No, uh, that's my apartment. Yeah. Sasquatch? <laughs> no. Okay. Yeah. Sounds like it would be a type of vegetable. I'm sure there's a lake somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> if we want to... <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're recording it. Were you recording that? <laughs> What's she saying? She said, I, I thought Sasquatch sounded like a vegetable. <laughs> <laughs> like it a does. Yeah. <laughs> This is the road less traveled. It goes down there, the floor's out. And it comes up and you actually have to make some acrobatics to get from there to here. I think they blocked that off for a reason. And up the decrepit stairs. Check the room. Check the room. So we are projecting
Okay. Plus, or possibly a, an IR floodlight, they'll do it too. Okay. Those can go up to 300 feet. Okay. So, this thing is going to be best to go that way. this direction? Yep. I'm going to put this down here. Okay. Huh. Yeah. Let's go, let's go. On the door frame? No, it's an excellent door down there. Okay, hold I on. Heard it that was a female, yes? I just heard it again while we're talking. That was that way. So you guys were hearing it down well, there? Well, I was hearing it like right here. It sounded almost like it was right here. That's not pretty. Did you hear that? No. I heard it was like a growl or something. There was something moving on the ground. It was right there. It was something moving? It was right as I passed by. Go on there. Stinks in here. Somebody down here with us? Are we disturbing your slumber? Well, I just caught something very interesting on the video. And all this dust flying everywhere, but there is this uh, one or it could have been dust, but it just kind of like hung in the camera for a while and moved very slowly toward it. We'll yes, in. it says we do not enter, but here. we want to go in. That's what we came here for. It's really soft in here. What? There's a bathtub. What? There's a bathtub. Ceilings and ceiling caved in. caved in there. And that's why they the don't. Floor. Yeah, that's why they don't want people here. You know, yeah. When we came in, those doors were closed. It was a lot. It is a lot hotter in here. It's musty. It's just completely different feel. There's smell in here. Yeah. Yeah. There's a smell in here. One of the clues that this might be a children's site unit. Is that the wall paint is two tones, and up up on the blue side um, is like a flat, regular latex paint, and down on the bottom is um, uh, like high gloss. That would be something that can be washed off easier. Keep spending some time in the Yeah, seriously, um, I, I I agree with that. Here because there are bars on the windows. I think we should probably consider staying in here and maybe trying to find some type of identifier to see what this place really was. This is the place I could send a, a picture to Vanessa. Could not take that jump, Mike, for sure. <laughs> we have completed our investigation of Fort Chaffee. We're winding down, headed back out to Oklahoma. There's all kinds of people just crossing the street in the middle of Fort Smith as we out. It's three in the morning people go to sleep, go home, which is where we're headed because we are dang tired. Oh my gosh, there is so much to walk around at Fort Chaffee. It is unbelievable. You know, really it would take like a whole week to hit that place and we had two nights. It's fantastic though, you know, it's uh, you know, a historic fort that you know will be torn down. Um, yeah, it's not scheduled yet for it, but it eventually will be, once I guess the EPA gets some funding. But uh, getting out there with the rest of the society, the haunted crew, uh, 
uh, it's been fantastic and we look forward to getting out there again uh, sometime soon yeah we've talked about that and we'll certainly will get back out to Port Chaffee so here we are across the river headed back into Oklahoma see you next time I'm awake so really? it's 5 o'clock in the morning yeah. because I am able to drive this skinny <laughs> in any case <laughs> oh she yeah. can't even talk can't even okay talk. in okay. any way okay. 8 is not free <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay. Well, okay. But. Let me. Okay. My dad. My dad is tired. Um, you can tell when he's tired. Like when he's really tired. When he's making no sense. This is okay. one at a time. We were passing a loves. Okay. And so I was just, for whatever reason, I was suddenly about to say something about like there's eight of them, but it wasn't that. It's three, not eight. See, um, between, <laughs> let me explain, between, <laughs> between that, Loves, and Oklahoma City, there's like three more, but not eight. So Kathy's behind us. Yes, she, oh, hey, she's close now. Well, that's because we're going through the construction. We're all tired and trying to get to our places of sleepage. If you have a letter. Huegos that you never pronounce, ever. Why even have it? I mean, is it for looks? So that it, the word looks like it has more letters? You know, do you, uh -huh. Is it artwork? Do you like the way you write your H's? Because um, if you never pronounce it, there's no point to having the letter in the alphabet. I mean, we say A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, G, though. I J K. Do you say A B C D E F G? <laughs> I J K. Do you just skip it? <laughs> do you just like pause? Do you just, like do sign language or something? You know? See, we got into this conversation. I can do K. We got into this conversation because we passed by a Mexican restaurant. Um. Ow. Ow. Cramp. Yeah, well, my hand just cramped up. Look. <laughs> My hand cramped up. I, it's it totally cramped. Holy crap! I can't move it. <laughs> I, I did that make it a K. <laughs> it, it's stuck. See, I have practices with my K. Oh! Oh my God! <laughs> it's wow. like it hurts. Dang it! Okay, but we got into. Wow. <laughs> we got into. Let's see if I can do that again. But we like their banana split coffee. Yeah, it's cappuccino. It's banana split in ish. <laughs> what? <laughs> See, that, that's what I'm talking about. Just random banana stuff. Split in ish. Yeah, it ish. Like, really? Ish. Well, it's got the ish in it. Okay, it doesn't matter. We all know that ish is cool, but you can't just use it with everything. You're using the camera-ish. We've been on these paranormal roads so long that it's, um, we're going to run into church traffic. And I have to go for a bear. <laughs> you have code for a bear? <laughs> um, See, it's stuff like this. You just don't understand. Um, I, actually, I don't think I have code for a bear, but... <laughs> <laughs> Do loco la cabeza. Loco la like cabeza, yep. Yeah. That's me. Yeah. Your ear looks plastic. My ear looks plastic. Yeah. <laughs> Just in the camera shot, it looks plastic. Oh, and send me send the evil. You can have pointy ears. For your like wizard person, Wiz or you can make an Wiz elf blacksmith. Wizards don't have red ears. Wizards don't have red ears. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a wizard? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I I think I hear. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs>
heard you say red ears. I, I think I did. <laughs> Wizards don't have red ears. Uh, Dad, turn. <laughs> um, I'm going straight on the road. We're all no, you were, yeah, we're you were going dead straight. Stairs. You weren't turning. But, and no, I was going straight through the turn. To, exactly. <laughs> you have to turn the turn. Right. Walk the walk. All, through all of this, I have maintained the course on the road. Through all of this weirdness. I don't know anything about wizards having red ears. <laughs> Bears that are eight, not three. So. Okay, drink some more of this. this <laughs> it didn't work at all. I said something weird like within 30 seconds after drinking.